Hi, welcome back to my studio. I'm Lori McNee, and today I'm going to show you how I pack up my paintings for shipping and get them safely to the galleries. I use Omega frames oftentimes. I really like these frames for a couple reasons. They're pretty well made, they're somewhat affordable, and you can reuse the packing material that they come in. Okay, so you can see that I have these three paintings packed in their original containers. And now the next step is I have to find a bigger box for them to go into. I have a fairly small studio, so I've used this space above my closet. I opened it up, and this is where I put my boxes that usually help me ship things. I hope I have the right size. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy. I think I found actually the original box that the largest of my frames came in. And uh, I hope this all fits in here. It should. Now, let me just say something. If I did not have these um, original uh, boxes to pack the frames in, I would have to bubble wrap each frame at least three times around with the large bubbles, and then I would put them in an exterior box for protection. It's going to be close. Okay, we already know these boxes are going to fit all right in this big box, but I don't like how there's some play. You can see there's room for this to shift, and I will put bubble wrap in, but I'm going to go ahead and secure these smaller boxes with tape to the larger box just to make sure that things don't shift too much while they're being shipped. Whew, I got it taped up. Now I'm going to lift this. I could lay, lay it down and slide it all in, but that would be kind of awkward on camera, so I'm going to try and lift this thing. All right, bear with me. I did go ahead and put some extra bubble wrap at the bottom. Oh my gosh. Woo, okay. All right, so now I'm going to put some bubble wrap down the sides just to help keep that in place. Okay, I got it done, got my coat on, and I have to hurry, so i got to get it to that shipper. Okay, I'm back, and I got it on its way. So I just want to point out some of the items that you'll need if you choose to do your own packing. Bubble wrap, and again, if you don't have the double boxes like I showed in the video, then you need to purchase bubble wrap, and I suggest the large bubbles, and it comes in rolls like this. You need to use something to fill it up, and you can use these peanuts, which are somewhat annoying, but they do work. Or, you should be kind of saving this kind of packing material, and you can stuff it down the sides, um, and that works out pretty well too. Make sure that you buy insurance. This will help cover any problems that you might have. Let's say you ship a painting that's worth $5,000. Be sure and have it covered for the wholesale price. The shipper oftentimes has a service that will pack up your paintings for you, like UPS store, and they oftentimes prefer to do that in case there is a claim against them. And in the past when I did have that problem, what they do is they tear the box apart and they look at the packing and then they make sure that you had packed it properly and if they decide there's enough packing material, then they'll give you your claim. So remember, it's best to be organized before you get started with any project in your studio. And for packing, have all your packing materials ready to go, your tape, a nice strong box, and of course your beautiful artwork that you're going to ship off. Thanks so much for visiting my studio, and I hope you come back again real soon. Thank you.